Zdravo from the capital city of Serbia, Belgrade. I'm here at a restaurant called Zavikaj. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm here to try a festive dish called Sama. It's a hearty dish. I need that after all the walking I've done today and it's pretty cold, so it should sort me out. Looking forward to trying it. Okay, so the main has come. We've got the peppers and chili oil here. I think there's a bit of garlic in there as well. And here we've got the Sama with the mashed potato. Okay, let's give the salmon a go first. Got a big chunk of meat here. Look at that. Let's delve into this. Okay, let's taste this. That's great. The cabbage just melts away. The rice, but like I say, there's some, there's some sauce in here. It's like a, I don't know if it's like a, a cheesy sauce or something. That's what it tastes like. I think there's cheese in it. I'm gonna cut into this meat as well and give the mashed potato a go. But yeah, very tasty. Like I say, I think that is a cheese sauce. Okay, let's give the meat and the mashed potato a go. That pork is very tender. It's nice with the mashed potato. Um, I've just delved into the sama again. You've got the rice in there, you've got the beef mince, he's got a tomato sauce in there, and yeah, I've just been confirmed by the waitress, it is like a, a cheese in there as well. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's got a definite, well, can I say it? Like it's got a bit of like a, a Mediterranean flavour, um, with the tomato, the cheese, the beef mince, uh, the rice. Uh, the cabbage just, just falls apart, that's been boiled. It's a really, really nice meal, really digging this. Okay, let's try the pepper as well. I've been told by the waitress it's a bit spicy. I like a bit of spice, not too much, but a little bit. That's got a chilli all surrounding it with garlic in, so this should have a bit of a kick on it. Okay, let's give this a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blew my head off. I need some water. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so I've been told that you need to mix the pepper with the sama uh, with milk as well. The milk will uh, get rid of the kick off the pepper, apparently, so let's try this combination. There you go. Yeah, it's got a definite kick, that pepper. This milk will counteract it. There you go. The pepper, the milk, the meat, mashed potato, and the sarm at the bottom. Yeah, that concoction with the milk, the pepper and the chili oil with the garlic, the mashed potato and the sama worked very well. There you go, I managed to finish it. My first sama, done. Okay, I'm now going to eat Piaskovitska, this is the name of the place, it's Stara Zupa. It's a great burger right here, so I can't wait to try this. Here's the menu here, you've got lots of choice. All different sizes, all different prices. I've gone for the Piaskovitska, which is 200 gram, 330 dinar, bargain. Here we go, here's the 200 gram Piaskovitska from Stara Zupa. You've got a nice toasted bun on top, I'll lift this up. Inside we've got cabbage, we've got onion, and we've got some sauce called, I think it's Ubernets, which is quite spicy, which I really like. You've got a nice charred burger there. Really looking forward to trying this, this looks excellent. Okay, let's give this burger a taste test. I do love my burgers, so I'm intrigued to try this one. Let's pick it up. It's a big hunk of meat. Let's give it a go. Look at this toasted bun. Really, really nice. Absolutely outstanding. The meat is great. It's got nice char on the meat. Really like that, that Ubernets, I think that's how you say it. 
running through that burger with the onion, the cabbage, and that toasted bun. This is a grade A burger. Really, really good. I'm excited to give this another bite. Let's give it a go again. Man, that burger is an absolute winner. That meat, I can't get over it. Flame grilled, brilliant. For 330 dinars as well, I think that's a really good price. What do you think? I'm going to absolutely demolish this burger. So, so good. That's one of the best Pieskovitskas I've ever tried. That's no exaggeration. Get yourself down to Starazupa and order one of these. You won't regret it. Here we are, the Kolaba Burek Ispad Sasha. I think that's how you say it. Let's go and check it out. I've gone for this one here, which is a, a cherry one, only a small piece. And I've gone for the meat one as well. Yeah, look really, really good. Okay, here we are. I've got the Burek with uh, meat. The meat is beef. It's got Koymak on it, apparently. Also, I went for the uh, cherry burek as well. That's like a bit of a savoury one. And had a little bit because, obviously, if you see the size of that one, it's massive. And I'm sure that's going to fill me up. Also, I've got yoghurt with it. So, I'll give that a try as well. Let's tuck into it. Let's break into that lovely phyllo pastry. Look at the meat there. Look at that meat content. <laughs> wow. A lot of meat in there. I haven't even tried it. I'm liking the look of this already. Okay, here it goes. Look at that. Oh my God. That is so good. I feel like doing a little dance. But I'm not gonna because obviously people are gonna be staring at me. That is unbelievable. That is so, so good. The meat, the pastry, this is outstanding. I think I've found my meal. This is like no other burek I've tried before in my life. This is just exceptional. I've only had a couple of bites. I'm getting full already. I need some of this yogurt to wash it down, I think. Let's give this a go. It's nice yogurt. It's sweet. Um, I was told uh, by a friend that basically the yoghurt is quite thick but this seems a bit more watery uh, to what I was led to believe but that's good. Like I say it helps wash down this hearty meal. But yeah, really do like the combination. Works well. Here we are, session oi, the hat. Really like this. All these nice flowers around it. Let's see what they're saying. Okay, so the main is here. This is the Kajordi steak. This is not how I expect it to look like. Okay, let's cut into this. A lot of juice coming out of that. You've got the Kai match coming out. I'll just zoom onto that. As you can see, the Kai match coming out there. Very juicy. Let's give this a bash. The pork is very tender. It's seasoned very well. The koi mac running through it as well gives it a little bit of salty kick. I love the, the, the breaded elements around the actual uh, steak. Really, really good. So the koi mac just oozing out. Again, this is another hearty meal. I don't think I'll have to eat for two days after all this food. But there you go, have a look at that. 
Oh. Yeah, that Kaimak running through it sets it all off very nicely. I've just dipped it in a bit of sour cream as well, and that works really good. Um, these potatoes as well, nice and crispy. Really nice texture to them. Yeah, highly recommend this meal. This is a winner. Kajordi steak. Love it. Okay, and here we go. We've got the palachinki on steroids. This has got M&M's, Eurocream chocolate, and crunchy biscuits. I'm putting on five stones just looking at this. Okay, let's cut into this bad boy. Some nice M&M's on there. And a bit of crunchy biscuit. I don't know if I'll get this all in my mouth. We'll have a go. Look at that. Okay, let's give this the taste test. Mm. It's going everywhere. Okay, well, what can I say about that palachinki? That is excellent. The Eurocream chocolate that's running through that with the crunchiness of the biscuit and the M&Ms, you've got the gooiness and you've got the crunchiness. I like those textures. But that's a very rich pancake and, and yeah, I think I'm gonna put a lot of weight on eating this. I've got to say, no exaggeration, this is probably one of the best palachinkis I've had since I've been here in Serbia. If you're into your funky looking desserts and you love chocolate like me, then I suggest you order this palachinki. You will not go wrong with it, it's incredible. Okay, the food has come. There's my Sarajevski chabapi. It's got unibis on it, kaimak, onions, and you've got that 100% beef meat with the song bread. That's a homemade bread. That's really good. And my girlfriend's gone for the kaimak onions with the song bread as well. And we took some fries. We took onions, both of us, because we need to kiss after. Well, yeah, we took onions because we need to kiss after. Yeah, so <laughs> there you go. Well, that looks really good. Can't wait to tuck into this. There you go, just open it up a little bit. Steam's coming out. This looks exceptional. Moving over here. That Kaimak is going to be running, running all over the chivapi. <laughs> Girlfriend's complaining because I'm uh, fingering her food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's tuck in. Is that enough bread that I'm ripping there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Grab one of these. Knock yourself. Um, use my fingers for the one of us? No, 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 come on. Okay. Dip it. Okay, let's put a bit of one of us on it. A bit of Kaimak. Mm -hmm. And get some of this onion as well. Do you call Simpson? This is going to be messy. Okay, let's give it a go. <coughs> Sorry, licking fingers. I know you, I know you don't like that, but yeah. hey ho. Right, let's Enjoy. try it. Breathe. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. Brilliant. So, so good. Words fail me. I haven't got words to describe how good that is. The Kaimak ruin all over that meat. Like I say, and that little bit of spice in the bus with the snap of the onions and that lovely salmon bread. That is premium, premium Serbian food. Welcome to the restaurant Pechenja Mali Harast. This has got to be some of the best Pechenja in an 80 kilometre radius of Belgrade in Serbia. I've been told it's the best in the area and you'd be hard pushed to find better elsewhere. Let's go check it out. And here we go, here's the Pechenja. This is pig meat that's been roasted on a stick. There's no bones on it. This looks something else. This looks world class. Let's tuck in. So I've just put a bit on my plate and the juices are running off this. You know this is gonna be good. Okay, let's try Pechenya for the first time ever. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That is some of the best pork I've ever tried in my life. That's no exaggeration. It's salty, it's moist, and the cracking on top which is burns. An absolute dream. That meat is so juicy. It's an unbelievable cut of meat. If you've never tried pechenga in your life, I suggest you do. This is absolutely top class. I've got to say, I love my beef, but I've never in my life tried cow's tongue, so this is a first. I don't know what to expect. When I think of cow's tongues, I'm a bit like, mm, I don't know, but I've been told by Nebojša, who I trust completely, that people, when they try this meal, they come back time and time again. So he's excited for me to try it. I'm excited, let's give it a go. Okay, let's cut into this bit of tongue. I don't know what to expect. This is something new, but seven hours cooking, yeah, that's gonna be tender as. Okay, here goes nothing, let's give this a go. That is a unique taste. I've never tried beef like that in my life. Very, very tender. Like I say, seven hours of cooking, you know it's gonna be tender. But with that gravy as well, the gravy, really, really tasty. You need to get down here and try this. I know why the voice is saying people come back for it again and again. This is something different and something of which, yeah, I highly recommend. Really, really nice tasting meat. I've been told you could travel all around Frushkagora and you won't get this meal. This is a speciality. And like I say, one I'll be back for myself for. Okay, let's give the mashed potato a go as well. They're looking nice and creamy. Let's get a nice bit of this mashed potato with the meat. Love my gravy, love it. And this gravy, yeah, really, really good. Superb, that is excellent mashed potato. And with that mixture of the gravy and the meat, winner again. I was told that basically some people, when they hear about cow's tongue, they're a bit skeptical and they think, mm, I don't know. But when they actually try it, they're like, yeah, give me that again. And I can see why. Like I say, this is a really, really good cut of meat. I never thought I'd say that, cow's tongue, yeah. Really, really nice. Okay, guys, I'm in the Percent restaurant, which is a predominantly fish restaurant. We've just ordered a fish paprikas, which has got carp and catfish in. I've had fish paprikas before, so I'm looking forward to trying Percent's version of this. There you go, very red in colour. It smells great. Again, you need smelly vision. You need to smell this. It smells superb. Okay, I'm just going to dish some up. This is really great. Okay, I've just dished it up. You've got carp and catfish in there, like I say. You look at the meat, very chunky. Look at that. Very meaty fish. Right, let's give this a go. Really excited to try this because it smells absolutely epic. That is superb. I'm getting garlic in there. Obviously, the, the paprika is shining through. It's nicely herb and seasoned. Really, really great broth. And that meaty fish in there, I'm telling you, really, really good. You need to try fish paprikas. This is a must. If you're around the Voivodini area, give this a go. You will love it. Okay, the main is come. To the left, you got skirlet, and to the right, you got carpfish. You also got potato, tomatoes, and on there also a little bit of spinach. To the right, you've got parsley and garlic sauce. Again, you need to smell this. This smells absolute class. Okay, I've just put a bit of the parsley garlic sauce on the fish. I've just sprinkled lemon on there as well. Let's give this a go. I absolutely love fish, and I tell you what, that, it's caught out of Danube as well, that, that carp, I'm telling you, 
you know, I know I go crazy about some foods, but that is absolute quality. You got a nice salt kick on that. Uh, like I say, with the lemon and the, the garlic on it as well. The real flavoursome fresh fish. It's breaded. This is as good as it gets. This is top quality fish. I bet to try a dish called Pith Juicy or Fit G. I don't know, you tell me in the comments. But this dish is made of congealed jelly with pork, which is made from a pig's head and also hock. Also, there's peppers in there, carrot and onions. Let's go and check it out. There you go, the Pith -gia. That's correct pronunciation, I think. It also comes with pickled vegetables and also rakia, which I'm happy about. That helped wash it down. It's quite funny, when I shake the table, the actual pithia shakes as well. It's like jelly. Okay, I'm drinking my plum rakia now. Getting a bit of Dutch curries before I eat this. Cheers. Right, well, let's cut into this. Wow, it's very soft. Very soft indeed. I can see chili flakes on the top of this, and there's also garlic in this as well. This is going to be interesting. Okay, let's do this. Very cold. Very jellyfied, of course. Um, the garlic is really kicking through on that. And the chili flakes on the top. Um, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know whether I like it or don't like it. It's a half and half. Strange. <laughs> 